Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's news video. And we're here today to talk yet again about the possibility of a multiplayer game mode coming to FNAF VR Help Wanted. Fusion has made a video talking about some more information that has been leaked out, or not really leaked out, this information was actually given to Fusion by a, um, a data miner that went into the game files and found all this, and Fusion makes it very, very clear in his video, and I want to make it very clear in mine, that take all this information with a grain of salt, because Fusion doesn't know if all this is legit, so I don't know if this is all legit. The only person that really knows um, if all this is real or if it's all fake is the person that gave this information to Fusion, who then gave it to everyone else. And now I'm giving it to you, bros. So, again, this may or may not all be true, but we have a lot of interesting stuff to look at nonetheless. So another quick disclaimer before we hop right into the news. I don't really know what I'm talking about here, boys, so... I'm sorry that I don't really know what any of this means. I don't really deal with this type of stuff regularly, and I'm not very educated in it, so I'll try my best to decipher what all this means, but I do apologize for my lack of information on it. So at the very top of the screen, you can see that it says Unreal Engine Viewer, Build 898, Users, Dell, Downloads, FNAF or Help Wanted. This is just the location of where all this information is coming from, I definitely do know that. So it's found in the users folder, and within that it's found in the Dell folder, within that it's found in downloads, and then within that it's found in FNAF VR Help Wanted. So this is where all of this information is supposedly coming from. And then we can see all the packages that come along with it, all of them starting with Freddy's, content, and then production, Assets and the first uh, looks like five one two three four five. Yeah, so the first five are just the vent repair mango minigame We can see that it says models environments and then ENV Mod vent mango puzzle switch and it says that for all of the other ones and then we get to the really 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 juicy stuff the multiplayer files. The first one reads Freddy's content production assets multiplayer character info. So this is where you would get information about the character um, either that you're playing as, that you pick yourself, or the one that the game automatically assigns to you. I'm not really sure which one. And then right under that it's character info table. So this is probably just the table that displays the information um, that is shown up in the first one. I'm not really explaining this well, but the character info table displays the character info. That was really simple, that's all I had to say. Under that, it then says character pawns bt service underscore randomize. I'm not really sure what that means, but if I had to take a guess, I'm guessing this is basically the game randomizing what character you are going to be, seeing as it says character pawns and then it says randomize. Again, I don't really know what I'm talking about here, but that is my best guess. And then right under it, it says character pawns bt task underscore move to. So this is very self-explanatory. This is just when you want to move to a certain location in the map, in the environment, this um, little string of code will activate and move you to that certain location and underneath it is character pawns bt task underscore start move which is again exactly as it sounds when you start moving this is the code that is going to be played underneath it is character pawns mpaibb underneath that is character pawns mpaibt i'm not really sure what those mean so i don't even want to take a guess because i don't want to give any false information just because it's just loads of letters. How am I supposed to know what that means? But underneath that is character pawns MPAI controller. And this is kind of self-explanatory. It's the AI controller. So this is the code that controls all the artificial intelligence in this game mode. And I really don't mean to confuse you guys, but I do want to go back to the MPAIBB and MPAIBT just for a quick second. Breaking them down... I'm guessing that they stand for Multiplayer AI, and then BB and BT, I have no clue what those are going to stand for, 
but they are also found in BT service, BT task, and that's just, I don't really know what to think of that, because I have no clue, again, I don't know what I'm talking about, I have no clue what BT and BB stand for, but if you guys do, feel free to leave them in the comments. And now we're going to go back down to Character Pawn's MP Bonnie. This is probably one of the most interesting pieces of code in the entire video, I guess you could say, because this is supposedly the only finished playable character in the multiplayer game mode. As you can see, the MP stands for multiplayer, and then Bonnie is just straight up Bonnie. While all the other characters are MP Chica Pawn, MP Foxy Pawn, and then MP Freddy Pawn and MP Freddy Pawn Base. Bonnie is the only character that does not have Pawn in it, and I don't really know what that means, but the fact that he is just separated from everyone else makes me feel like either he's not done or he is done. And I feel like this multiplayer game mode is going to take a long time to make, and so I feel like now, in the current state of the game, the fact that it's been out for only two months, about, I feel like they would only have about one character um, that you're going to be able to play as right now. So I feel like when Bonnie's separated from all the other pawns, I guess you could say, he is the only one currently finished. And then obviously Chica Pawn, Freddy Pawn, Foxy Pawn, and Freddy Pawn Base are all just ones that are currently being worked on. I'm not quite sure what Freddy Pawn Base could mean. Maybe it's like the default setting for Freddy's Pawn? I'm not quite sure on that. And now we move away from multiplayer character pawns onto multiplayer flashlight interactive. So that basically confirms that we are going to have a flashlight and we are going to be able to turn it on and off for presumably flashlight freeze, which is currently the only known multiplayer game mode in Help Wanted. Then again, as we move further down the list, we can see multiplayer lobby, lobby player control. So there is going to be probably a waiting lobby while you're waiting for more players to get into a game and then you start the game, and right under that, there's multiplayer lobby game mode. So maybe there's some sort of like mini game you can do when you're waiting in the lobby, but that is very interesting that it's called the lobby game mode. And then under that, we have multiplayer lobby pawn, which, again, not quite sure what pawn stands for, but, you know, <laughs> Uh, if you guys know, feel free to leave them in the comments below, like I said. And then we have multiplayer controller, so these are just the controls for multiplayer. And then the multiplayer game mode, which either could be all the multiplayer game modes put together, or it could be a third separate game mode aside from flashlight freeze and this strange multiplayer lobby game mode. Who knows? Then we have multiplayer game mode player tracking. So this is probably just tracking the movement of either your player or the other players that you're playing with. And then we have multiplayer player lobby info, which I'm guessing is just either the information that is given to you in, in the lobby about the game mode you're playing, or it's information about the lobby itself, which as we stated before, could be its own game mode. And then right under that, the final one for this picture, I know, there's going to be a lot of information here, but trust me, it's all going to pay off because we're going to be filled with knowledge about this possibly new game mode for Help Wanted. The last one is Multiplayer VR Player. This one's fairly simple. It's just the player. This is simply just the name given to the player that is using the virtual reality headset to play the game mode. This is the second picture that Fusion showed in his video. And there's only one extra piece of information. It's at the very, very, very bottom of the list saying Freddy's content, production assets, multiplayer, user interface, flashlight, freeze, map. And this is presumably the file that holds the map to flashlight freeze, which we covered in the last episode. If you missed that, there's a link down in the description. And then after that, we have loads of other user interfaces. We have the lobby multiplayer lobby user interface, which is just the interface used in the lobby. 
All of this is kind of self-explanatory, but I'm going to go over it nonetheless. We have the multiplayer lobby UI actor. So this is probably the character that you're playing as in the game. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's not quite as self-explanatory as I thought. And then under that, we have multiplayer lobby UI player slot. Maybe it's like a, um, a, uh, like an avatar or some sort. For example, this is the best example I can come up with. In Minecraft, right? If you hit tab, you can see all the players in the game. Um, you can see their name, you can see a little icon above it, and then you can see like their connection status, like their Wi-Fi. So maybe that's what this is? I'm not quite sure. That's probably a bad example. And then there's multiplayer user interface display actor. So that's just displaying who's in the game, I'm guessing, or displaying a character that you can play as. And then we have multiplayer user interface game. So this is probably just the entire game and all of its mechanics, all of its features and all that stuff. Multiplayer user interface vision cone. I have no clue what that means. And then we have multiplayer user interface visions. Not quite sure what that is either. Then we have RT multiplayer map view. I'm not quite sure what RT would mean. My mind immediately went to right trigger, which is just a controller for a game console, which I don't think... Um, actually, you know what? That probably could be used for help wanted running on the um the playstation 4 maybe actually no they don't have triggers on the ps4 vr controllers do they never mind scrap that idea my thought was if you hit right um trigger on a controller you can view the map but i'm pretty sure that's what it is anyways if you hit a button you can probably view the entire map maybe i'm not quite sure and then there's player info underneath that player location these two are kind of self-explanatory, <clears throat> excuse me, um, player info is just information about a character you can play as, or a player of the game mode in particular, and then player location is just where a player is located on the map, and then underneath that we have another visions cone, or vision cone, and then probably the most interesting one of all, the final final one, is the scream. Now, Fusion showed this off in his video, and it sounds a little bit like the plush baby scream and help wanted, but I'll leave you guys to judge um, if it's a new jump scare or if it's reused. I'm not quite sure, because Fusion said he doesn't really um, recognize the sound, but I think it sounds a little bit like the plush baby's jump scare, but here's a lesson. <laughs> To me, it sounds like when you're getting jump scared by all three of the plush babies at once. It reminds me of that jump scare, but again, like I said, Fusion said he doesn't recognize it, so maybe it's a new one, but I'm not quite sure. But to finish off this video, I want to take a look at the map for Flashlight Freeze, because I watched Darko's video the other night, and he made a pretty interesting statement. Yeah, so Darko made a pretty good point in his video talking about the map. He claims that this thing right here, this, this, and I'm using my arrow um, finally to show you guys what I'm talking about, and this right here are T-poses. So these could be T-poses for people in the game. And if that's the case, then it looks like you can have one, two, three, four, four or five people in the game, maybe. Um, and of course, these could either be animatronics, players, or players being animatronics, or animatronics being the players, or something. These are just something that have spawned in. I'm explaining this really, really bad. I'm sorry. But basically, short story, or I guess long story short, these could be T-poses right here, and this could be where things spawn in. And I made a pretty good observation myself, but people don't seem to believe me. Doesn't this kind of look like a hammer? Go, start zooming in. Doesn't that kind of look like a hammer? Please, guys, give me pity. That, that's a hammer. At least I think it looks like a hammer. Who knows, maybe I just need some glasses. So that is all the information we have on the possibility of a multiplayer game mode in Help Wanted. Now, I just want to restate that this is only a possibility. Steel Wool and Scott have not confirmed that they are working on a multiplayer game mode. 
Though the fact that, and I think I said this in the last video, but the fact that there's been so many patches to the game, and I believe this is still in the game mode, um, still in the game, actually, I have no clue to believe that. Maybe they've been taken out. But the fact that they haven't addressed all of this, saying, guys, this isn't true, we were going to do this, but then stopped for, I don't know, maybe time or budget or some other lousy excuse. I'm just kidding, guys, I love you. Who knows, maybe this is just something in the past, or it could be something that is gonna happen. But it probably won't happen for a long, long time. That is, if Fusion did not make this statement, in his video i do want to read you guys what he sent in the email um just because apparently i mean he knows he knows what he's looking at here more than i do so let's go ahead and read what he said so he said from what i've seen the game is ready for multiplayer and the game has everything to make it even an online system and the game has a few hold on a few things for the chat system and the game only has one jump scare effect so in my opinion there will be one animatronic yeah so according to the guy that gave us all of this information in the first place he claims that Help Wanted is ready for multiplayer. The fact that it even has online connections to be able to actually do a multiplayer, and now he's claiming that it has a chat system. Now, obviously, it's going to be extremely, extremely difficult to get a keyboard in virtual reality so you can type on it. So my guess is, is that it's going to be using the built-in microphone for all headsets. I know that the Rift S has a built-in mic. I'm not sure if other headsets do, but I'm sure they do. So it seems like that could be the only way a chat system could work. And it's just weird to think about that this multiplayer game mode is technically ready, as far as the guy says, the f but the only thing it's missing is more characters. Like, he, he says in the message, apparently, according to Fusion, that it has everything it needs. It just only has one jump scare and one playable character. So maybe we could be seeing all of this multiplayer hoo-ha pretty soon, though I'm sure that we're gonna have to wait either because it's all fake and <laughs> there's no multiplayer coming out, this is all in the past, it's a past um, scrapped project, or we're gonna have to wait because they want to add more, cha um, more characters and I personally would rather wait for more characters than to have it release and only be able to play as Bonnie. Because as cool as the guy's Bonnie is, I'd rather be able to play as my boy Foxy, or Freddy, or Chica, or Bonnie. Like I said, he's a pretty cool dude. But again, take all this with a grain of salt, because all of this, <clears throat> all of this may or may not be true. But if it is true, then we got a lot of good stuff to look forward to. So, thank everyone so much for watching. Make sure you follow my Twitch. It's all rubbed out. Can you can you tell I did this outro one time before? I did. Yeah, go follow me on Twitch. It's gonna start streaming very, very soon. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.